You're listening to The Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. Call day right around the corner. We're continuing the conversation today. We have the opportunity to talk with our friends at Concordia Theological Seminary in Fort Wayne. Joining us, the Reverend Dr. Jeffrey Pulse. He's professor of exegetical theology, director of certification and placement, and director of continuing education at Concordia Theological Seminary in Fort Wayne. Dr. Pulse, thanks for being our guest on The Coffee Hour. Well, thank you for having me. So, what makes Call Day a special day at Concordia Theological Seminary in Fort Wayne? Well, obviously, you know, these gentlemen have been preparing, most of them for four years, to go out and to serve God's flock in the congregations. And so this is, uh, well, they're, they're taught, and I do believe they actually are, they do think that this is the call they receive, and this is where they will spend the rest of their ministry. That's uh, kind of the attitude that we encourage. So it's a big transition thing for them and for their families. And so there's a a high level of excitement. And uh, uh, you can kind of imagine what that might look like, you know, the uh, and festivity even. But a lot of a uh, little bit of anxiety, too, until the service is over. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about the formation that happens at Concordia Seminary Fort Wayne, uh, the, those four years of formation that happen for these pastoral candidates uh, who will be there on call day. Well, we like to talk about with our new curriculum, I guess not that new anymore, but our curriculum where all that we teach is focused on the pastoral acts. So all that we do is to form them and prepare them to be pastors. I mean, that's what we do, first and foremost. So that would include uh, the classes, which would focus on, uh, say, word and sacrament ministry, and how does this work? And then they'll also have, they have field work assignments with local congregations for their first two years here. And then they have their vicarage. That's a year time when they're out in uh, in other congregations with a supervisor, learning more. And there's some four-year, they'll do some other things, but mostly they tend to move around, attend other congregations, look at different styles of ministry, uh, learn things, you know, picking up more information all the time. By that time, some four-year, they are ready to go. In fact, they they kind of have a bad attitude about being around seminary. They want to be in the parish because now they're excited. <laughs> They've seen what it looks like in real time. Tell us about uh, what happens with the family formation, all of this uh, educational work that happens with the seminarians. But then the you mentioned the families also being at call day and, and, and them being a part of this process. What does that look like for the families of these seminarians? Well, a lot of it depends on the... Uh, the age of the children, I've learned that. Uh, if their children are in school, if they're old enough to be in school, of course, there's a little bit of uh, concern about the transitioning to a new a new school for them, uh, the parish, a whole different set of people. Uh, and, and now, you know, their, their support group has been the other fellow students. Well, that will happen still a little bit. But the reality is uh, their new support group, their new context, the congregation, this is what it's going, this is what the the whole family now is involved in, not just the pastor, of course. And so the the wives have to learn how to be pastor wives, which hopefully they learned a lot on, on vicarage. We also have a women's, uh, what do they call it, the Seminary Women's Association. And they spend a lot of time learning and growing together. But now they're going out. They, too, are a huge part of the ministry, obviously. At least I think it's obvious. And then their children, well, they've got so many things going on with schools and things. If they am, so we do have second career guys who all of their children are grown. So it's not quite, uh, not quite so dramatic uh, of a change, of a transition for them. But uh, yeah, it just kind of depends where they're at in their in their own uh, personal life, as far as ages and things like that. 
tell us about the the preparation for calling a candidate. Who's involved in this process of, uh, I guess, preparing a call or, or calling a candidate from the seminary? Well, it feels like everybody's involved. <laughs> um, some days, uh, too many fingers, but it it's really uh, the the seminary placement directors, they work hand in hand with the Council of Presidents of uh, the Senate, all the district presidents. We do have uh, a group of five district presidents who are on the committee, the call committee as it stands. But basically, we're working with congregations, of course. Uh, if that's say, an associate position, we're working with senior pastors, or working with district presidents. And then, you know, you here we are in this. Uh, I have to work also with the uh, seminary insofar as making sure they're ready to go out on a call. The academic work's done. They're certified for placement. You know, they've gone through their their uh, theological interview and passed all these various and sundry things. So it can be it can be somewhat uh, complicated at times, and and there's always some call that is more complicated than another. Um, it might involve, say, like we're placing a few gentlemen in uh, overseas min- mission places with the uh, Office of International Missions. Well, there's more paperwork involved with that, of course. So, yeah, there's uh, there's quite a few people who help out and make this work. And And by the grace of God, it actually does work. But many times you realize after a while that, well... If it wasn't for the Holy Spirit, I'm pretty sure it would all collapse in upon itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tell us about the role of the congregations in this process. Uh, uh, when congregations are looking for um, a new pastor or a, a, a pastor fresh out of a seminary, what is the that role of the congregation in this process for Call Day? Well, usually they uh, will visit first with the circuit visitor about uh, wanting to call from from the uh, seminary or a seminary, then they have to access the documents from the district office to fill out those calls. And again, it depends. Now, if they're looking for, if the congregation is looking for an associate, there are uh, they would be allowed to interview candidates. But if they're going with a uh, just just for a sole pastor, then usually the interviewing is is not doesn't take place. Not allowed. So, you know, they get all of their paperwork together on their end, and we talk back and forth. I will usually, I'll, I'll uh, read the paperwork, their initial paperwork, and then I will uh, try to visit with them about it if there's any questions. Certainly, I'll talk to the district president about the call. And then, you know, when the final call document, the whole call document arrives, I'll try to figure out, uh, well, and I'll work with St. Louis as well, because we'll decide between the two of us if we can fill that call, or maybe we both can fill it. And then we have to kind of decide, well, is this guy better for this than the other guy? And then sometimes the uh, placement committee of the council presidents will weigh in there as well. That's, That's their job. Case we come to, especially if we come to an impasse, which we seldom do, but we usually work together pretty well. We don't have too many problems, Glenn Nielsen and myself. So, yeah. So if you if you had to arm wrestle Glenn Nielsen, <laughs> who would win if it were I you can, and Glenn I can Nielsen? take them. I can you take can. them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we've had that discussion. I can take them. <laughs> <laughs> Why is call day then significant also for congregations? Well, you know, I think in my uh, uh, experience, I'd say that no congregation calls a pastor hoping he stays for a year. I think they want him to stay forever. And as a result, that's a very, uh, that's that's a pretty big commitment, you know, relationship wise. Mm -hmm. And so we want that uh, relationship to be good and we want it to be a good fit. And, And I'm sure they're I don't know why they wouldn't be just a little uh, nervous about that. Mm-hmm. Will our new pastor be, what will he be like? Will we be able to get along? You know, I mean, there's there's always a horror story or two out there. 
highly overblown, but there's a few and everybody listens to the horror stories. And so they get nervous and uh, it seldom turns out, you're, well, you know, your fears are seldom realized in these things, but we do, we get some, some jumpiness, <laughs> I guess you would call it. Hmm. Uh, when is call day this year and uh, how can those of us participate from afar? <laughs> Well, call day will be here at the seminary in Fort Wayne will be April 27th. It's a Tuesday night at seven o'clock Eastern time. And uh, you can, anybody can participate. It's going to be live streamed. And the access to that, you can either go to the the website, the seminary website and look under events and click on the link, or you can just type in call day dot ctsfw dot edu and that'll get you there very good call day dot ctsfw dot edu and that is coming up uh tuesday april 27th is that right that's correct yes 7 p.m eastern time Outstanding. Our guest today, Dr. Jeffrey Pulse, Professor of Exegetical Theology and Director of Certification and Placement and Continuing Education at Concordia Theological Seminary in Fort Wayne. Dr. Pulse, thanks so much for being our guest on the Coffee Hour today. Well, thank you for allowing me to share a very important time and event here at the seminary. You're listening to the Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. The Coffee Hour with Andy and Sarah is a production of KFUO. To support the Coffee Hour and KFUO Radio, visit KFUO.org. You can also text KFUO to 41444 or send an email to gifts at KFUO.org. And you can call us at 800-844-0524. KFUO. Christ for you anytime, anywhere. Anywhere.